All right, let's show how to fork the React Chat library and turn it into a custom deployment using GitHub pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is just head to GitHub and fork that repository. So here I'm forking it into my own, uh, under my own user on GitHub. Let's create a fork. And then once that's done, I'm going to be able to clone it. So let's just git clone that React Chat. Excellent. I've got React Chat here. I'm just going to run yarn install, first of all. OK, cool. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to change one of these files before we build. So if I head to the, I think it's under the React Chat widget, I head to the .env.production file here. So this file is going to be used as the um, to basically set the URL that we want to visit in production in order to get to our widget. And today you can see this is set to the cdn.voiceflow.com, basically our CDN uh, and like the React chat within that. So we want to change this to actually be pointing at GitHub pages because once we deploy this, this will be available on GitHub pages. So let's change this to Effervescentia dot github dot io slash react chat and then we basically need the path to our react chat uh, bundle or the index html file in particular so that it can be loaded as an iframe so that's going to be under packages slash react chat slash dist slash latest i can get rid of this circle sha there we go so this is going to be the kind of like final URL that this index.html file that we build will be available at. So let's just try um, building like that, I suppose. So let's run yarn build, build. And I'll come back once it's done. Okay, excellent. It finished building. Uh, so now it's got the you can see this dist latest index HTML has been built for React Chat, and a dist bundle JS has been built for the widget. So all of our kind of build artifacts have been completed. So let's just do one last thing here. Uh, git commit dash m um, override widget URL. Okay, cool. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run a script on here that's basically going to set up GitHub pages for us. So we're going to run yarn set up GitHub pages. All right, so we've got our generated pages branch here. And you see it's removed all the kind of files that we don't need access to and just given us the output of our React chat, specifically this dist folder here, and of our widget, again, the dist folder here and our index.html. So you can see our index.html looks very similar to what we'd see if we looked at the snippet that showed on VoiceFlow. So if I head to VoiceFlow to my integrations page and take a look at the snippet there, I basically want to have the same project ID as I see in that snippet. So let's replace the project ID here. And then the other thing we're going to need to do is change our widget bundle URL. So similarly, this is going to need to be a URL that points to our widget bundle on GitHub pages. So it's going to be based off of our GitHub pages, percentia.github.io slash react chat slash packages slash widget slash bundle.mjs. Oh, sorry, dist slash bundle.mjs. Okay, awesome. So with that, now we should have our index.html set up properly, pointing to the correct file. So let's try deploying that to GitHub pages. So I'm just going to add the index.html file changes here. I'm going to commit that. Repeat. Um, configure index.html. Let's push that. Okay. All right. So the last thing to do if we go to our React Chat repo on GitHub is to head to the pages settings and we're going to say we're going to deploy from the pages branch and save and then it is going to uh, set that up and start deploying that for us. 
So if I head to, just waited a second there, and it looks like if I refresh my pages settings, it'll show my site is live at this endpoint. And if I follow along there, I now have my working React chat widget, which is running off of the files that are all hosted from GitHub pages. There you go.